So the math section of the PSCT also causes a lot of anxiety with students. So what I've done is I've moved over here to the math lab at Brightstorm and we're going to go over a little bit about the math section, what to expect, and then we're going to look at a few strategies that are going to help you out when you actually sit down to take the PSAT. First things first, let's take a look at the sections. Remember, you have two sections that are each 25 minutes. And in these sections, you're going to have two types of questions. First, you're going to have multiple choice questions. These are going to all look pretty much the same. You're going to have a question. Some may have figures, some won't. You may have lots of definitions and scary numbers, but you're always, for these types of questions, you're always going to have five different answer choices that you're then going to use and bubble in on your answer sheet. The other type of question that you're going to see besides multiple choice are something called gridding questions. Now these are really different than the other types of questions on the PSAT. Almost every other question, actually every other question is multiple choice, A through E. So it's pretty important to know what these look like. Here's an example. What you're gonna have is you're gonna have a question, but no answer choices. You're gonna be required to solve the answer and then to fill it in in this special grid inbox. So for example, the answer to this question is 5 twelfths. So what you would do is you would simply write at the top 5 slash 1, 2 and then bubble in the numbers accordingly. You'd bubble in five, the slash, one, and two. So they're a little bit different, and some people think they're more complicated. And actually, unlike the other questions, the multiple choice ones, you don't get any points off if you get these wrong. So that's an important thing to remember. Now that we've seen what these questions look like, let's take a look at a few strategies that are gonna help you solve the math questions on the PSAT.